when we were together, I built this tool um, called the Bubble Sort Tester. Basically, um, what it did is it created 500 numbers, and then it used Bubble Sort to um, uh, sort them. Okay, what I how much faster you can build sort if you use something beyond Bubble Sort. And we're going to use this tool here called Time, which is um, an import uh, or a, a, a uh, library, just like random as a library. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build an unsorted list of 5,000 items instead of 500 items. So this will be our random list. And so we have a list called unsorted. Then we're going to print our unsorted list. Okay. Then we're going to print, we're going to sort the list using bubble sort. So here's what we're going to do though. We're going to check out uh, time and we're going to say start time equals time dot time. And uh, let's see, end time, time dot time. So this is how long it took to do this. Okay. And um, actually, we'll put the end time over here. So first, we'll sort the print the sort the twenty numbers, okay? And then we'll say um, end time equals time dot time, and we'll say uh, print the sort took the bubble sort took. Um, end time minus start time seconds. So let's just see what happens here. Um, and hopefully this will work. It'll tell us how long it took to do the test with bubble sort. So it goes ahead and it prints the unsorted first 20. Now it's sorting, but it's sorting 5,000 numbers instead of just 500 numbers. So it'll take a little while. Hopefully it won't take forever. Well, this is kind of boring. Maybe I should have done it with fewer numbers. I could tell you a joke. Okay, this duck walks into a pharmacy and says, let me have some chapstick and put it on my lips. No, wait, that's, that's not the joke. <laughs> okay, a duck walks into a pharmacy and says, let me have some chapstick and put it on my bill. <laughs> that's a much better joke. All right, I'm going to stop this recording and I'll come back when it's done with my sword.